Allah wished to clear Musa. So this is the purpose. Allah wanted to clear Musa before Beni Israel. So he embarrasses him and let everyone in Israel see him naked. Like, you think you're saying uh, that that Isaiah verse you just read isn't from, from God? And proves why the Bible is corrupt. Because why would God allow this person to walk naked for three years? Even though he's not literally walking naked. And then you accept this bullshit. <laughs> Okay, so we're we're on point three of his. So this is uh, supposedly why the Bible came to the Word of God. Lies about the prophets of God. Okay, let's just, that's a very weird general statement. Let's, let's see. Prophets of God. The prophets of God are human beings chosen by God Almighty and trusted to convey his message to us. And I want you to imagine the Pope who is revered and respected by Catholic Christians running around naked for three years would you think this guy is saying and is trusted to learn anything about god from him of course not and this is exactly what the bible says about the prophet isaiah isaiah 20 verse 2 to 3 at that time the lord spoke by isaiah the son of amos saying go and lose the sackcloth from your waist and take off your sandals from your feet and he did so walking naked and barefoot then the lord said just as my servant Isaiah has gone stripped and barefoot for three years as a sign and portent against Egypt and Cush. How can a prophet be naked for three years and teach the word of God? Were there no children or women there? This story can't be from God and can't be true. And one of the strange... I mean, dude, I, I don't even know how this refutes anything. Let's go to the verse, actually. Let's go to the verse. Let's go to the verse in the uh, blue letter Bible, the inner linear here. I don't care for the Masoretic. Let's go to the Septuagint. So the Greek word for naked, as translated in the English here, should be... So gumnas. Look at the meaning of gumnas here. It could be unclad, without clothes, naked, clad in undergarments. The outer garments or cloak being laid aside. So it doesn't mean he was literally naked like he's such a retard this guy it doesn't mean he was literally naked like he was wearing some sort of undergarments like usually the way it's understood is that um he was wearing he was kind of dressed as like a lay person as like a typical worker in this and he was you know obviously not he was this this great prophet right so the word doesn't literally mean like just just you know completely naked but i don't i don't understand how what what the point is here like this doesn't refute anything let's see some actually let's see if we can find some commentary pulpits commentary here the supposed impropriety of isaiah's having gone naked and barefoot for three years arises from a misconception of the word naked and i'm pretty sure this guy is referring to the masoretic text he's not even referring to the subtusion here which is not to be taken literally the costume adopted would be extraordinary, especially in one of Isaiah's rank and position, but would not be in any degree improper. It would be simply that of working men during the greater part of the day. And he's referencing Exodus 22, 26. As you guys can see, like it doesn't literally mean naked. I just want to point out, and I've said this earlier in the stream, is point out the hypocrisy. I mean, it's it's very likely this guy is just very ignorant. Of the cult that he follows and teaches. Let's go to Sahih al Bukhari 278. Let's read this story, guys. It's it's absolutely retarded. Let's read it. This is about Moses. This is a hadith. The prophet said the people of Bani Israel used to take bath naked altogether, looking at each other. The prophet Moses used to take a bath alone. They said, By Allah, nothing prevents Moses from taking a bath with us except that he has a scrotal hernia. Okay, so once Moses went out to take a bath and put his clothes over a stone, <laughs> and then that stone ran away with his clothes. Moses followed that stone, saying, My clothes, O stone, my clothes, O stone, till the people of Beni Israel saw him. They saw him naked, by the way, and said, By Allah, Moses has got no defect in his body. Actually, he doesn't have a scrotal hernia, his body is actually perfect. Moses took his clothes and began to beat the stone. Abu Huraira added by Allah, there are still six or seven marks present on the stone from that excessive beating. I mean, what the hell is this, dude? What the hell is this? Yeah, it's Musa. 
let's read let's read another version of this story the, the uh, hypocrisy like oh prophet isaiah walked around naked like he doesn't even understand that that word is used is not used literally as we just read the commentary from from literally we picked a random scholar but then he's like not aware of this absolutely retarded story about this 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 musa in the in, in the quran like it's just retarded dude like people saw like what's the purpose of this like to be like to be like oh people thought he had defects in his body but actually Musa was perfect. He had no scrotal hernia. He <laughs> looks so stupid. And then everyone in Israel saw him naked. Like, he's just embarrassed. Like, the rock ran away. And he's like, ah! It was narrated by the authority of Abu Huraira. May Allah be pleased with him that the messenger of Allah, peace and blessing upon him, the prophet Musa, may Allah exalt him mention, was a shy person and used to cover his body completely because of his extensive shyness. One of the children of Israel heard him by saying he covers his body in this way only because of some defect in his skin. This is a little bit of a different version than that hadith. Either leprosy or scrotal hernia, or he has some other defect. Allah wished to clear Musa. So this is the purpose. Allah wanted to clear Musa before Beni Israel. So he embarrasses him and let everyone in Israel see him naked. Like you think you're saying uh, that that Isaiah verse you just read isn't from from God and proves why the Bible is corrupt? Because why would God allow this person to walk naked for three years, even though he's not literally walking naked? And then you accept this bullshit. Allah wished to clear Musa. May Allah exalt his mention of what they said about him. So one day while Musa was in seclusion, he took off his clothes and put them on a stone and started taking a bath. When he had finished the bath, he moved towards his clothes so as to take them. But the stone took his clothes and fled. Like, this is the story, dude. Ah, this is the most retarded thing I've ever heard. But the stone fled. Musa picked up his stick and ran after the stone, saying, Oh, stone, give me my garment. Till he reached a group of Bani Israel who saw him naked. This is from God, dude. A bunch of people saw, saw Musa just buck ass naked, dude, and found him the best of what Allah the Almighty had created. That was the whole purpose. Like, Oh, they saw him naked. But he looked so good, dude. He looked so good while he was naked, bro. And Allah cleared him of what they had accused him of. Like that, that's supposedly, like what kind of a supposed God does this, dude? <laughs> like the stone stopped there and Musa took and put his garment on and started hitting the stone with his stick. By Allah, the stone still has some traces of the hitting three or four or five marks. This was what Allah the Almighty refers to in his exalted saying, blah, 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 blah. Somehow you think that Isaiah verse proves that the Bible is not from God and you believe in this absolute retardation? Like, Lord have mercy on you, dude. Like, the cognitive dissonance is just insane. If you like the content, like, share, comment, subscribe for more, and follow my social medias in the description below. I'll see you guys next time, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you.